Good morning. It's Terry in Danu's Irish Herb Garden. And last time I was talking to you, I was talking about saving seeds. So today I'm going to make some seed bombs. So I have my bag of compost. Ugh. And I'm going to mix it up with some sand. And then I'm going to put the seeds in. So I just don't need too much because I'm only going to make about half a dozen little seed bombs. I've got some sand here. Just sprinkle a bit in. I'm going to mix it up. And here are my seeds. So in here, I've got a total um, mismatch of seeds. I don't even remember what they all are because I didn't label them because I knew they were just going into seed bombs um, and they're just going to be thrown into the hedgerows. So I can tell you I've got nasturtiums in here. I've got calendula seeds. I've got some datura seeds. I have some lunaria seeds and some poppy seeds and evening primrose seeds. So I may as well put them all in that one bowl together. So as I was saying before, I'm doing this because I think it's really, really important to save your own seeds, to share your seeds with your neighbors and your friends and your family. And um, these are flower seeds, so I'm going to make seed bombs from them, bomb the hedgerows nearby just to increase biodiversity. These are all garden flowers and I'm sure that some of them do escape from time to time. So there's no reason whatsoever why these can't just be growing by themselves up and down the road. And Lunaria is an early spring flower. You've got the nasturtiums for later on in the summer. Same with the evening primrose. So there should be um, definitely more biodiversity in the hedgerows and just somewhere else to put all these seeds because I have plenty of them in my garden now. So I will just sprinkle them into my little pile of compost. I'm just gonna give them a little mix up. This is a lovely, fun thing you can get kids to do because kids love to get their hands mucky, messing about with soil and mud and all that kind of stuff. And you can be teaching them all about the importance of seeds. I mean, seeds are life, aren't they? I mean, if you ever look at anything Vandana Shiva is saying, um, she's a wonderful, wise woman who should be listened to by every person in a political space because she's reminding us that seeds are life and we need to keep hold of our access to life and not allow huge corporations to be taking over. So they're kind of, I might have put a bit too much water in there but I'm sure it'll be okay. I have a nice little muddy pile here now and I'm just going to get my old plate. Looks like there's a couple of seeds on there. And just squeeze them into little balls. And I'll put this on the plate until I make my next one. And hopefully they'll hold together. And all the different varieties of seeds are in here. You can put any seeds in. I haven't put uh, vegetable or food seeds in, just flowers, because they're going to help um, feed and nourish our insect populations. Lots of nectar in the evening primrose for moths. Lots of nectar for the bees in the Lunaria and in the nasturtiums. And there's such a bright splash of colour. 
just to add to the to the visual beauty as well as the biodiversity. So, as I was saying, I would definitely recommend you have a look at uh, Vandana Shiva. She has a website, she's on YouTube, and she's full of wisdom about the importance of seeds. And she's really, really inspiring because she never, she never gets downhearted about the state of things. She's always smiling. So she's a true inspiration and really inspires you to do what you can in terms of seed saving. I forgot to say I've also got some lupin seeds in here. Now I don't know if any of them will germinate in, um, in wild places, but I think it's worth taking the chance. So I'm just going to go up the road now and toss these around into places that look hospitable. I've got one, two, three, I've got seven. That's a lucky number. So I'm going to go and toss them into the hedgerows, bomb the hedgerows with seeds. Actually, I'll go this way. Okay. Oh, look, there's been a little creature sleeping there. You can see all the, the grass is flattened. This looks like a good place. Um, the grass isn't too long, so it's not going to shade out the seeds. And it's close to a big rock that will be a passive solar heater. So it will encourage the seeds to grow. So I'm going to bomb that. And um, it's facing southwest, so it's going to get plenty of light. So please God, there will be some new life growing here. I'm just going to bomb over there as well. It's great. Just bombing places with something that's really positive and um, not harmful in the least. Another good place here because um, the grass is quite low again and there's a good rock. There we go. I'm just going to continue doing this up and down the road. So I hope that you um, give it some thought. And remember, it can be done anywhere. You can do it in a town or a city. You can do it on a roundabout. You can do it on a side, um, side of the pavement where there's sometimes those little green verges. Just do it anywhere you like. Just bomb those seeds. <laughs> Woo! And see what happens. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Have a look at the website, consider buying a couple of books and I'll see you next time. Take care.